Yes, it's me, the legendary Lord of Luxley, the champion of justice, the sharpshooting wonder, the original man in tights, the one and only Robin Hood. No doubt you've heard of my cunning exploits and merry adventures. Some of them are even true. Not really. In reality, I was just a common man, like so many others, who didn't like to pay his taxes. So naturally, I found a profession in highway robbery. True, I may have stuck up my neck for the underdogs now and then, but I assure you, it was for entirely selfish reasons. I mean, no sane man would give everything he stole to the poor. That, and I was trying to impress Lady, Ma impress Lady Marion, that smoking babe. <laughs> there was a time but it seemed that we would live happily ever after. You may have heard how King Richard returned to England and set everything straight. <laughs> oh, if only that were true. Here in Nottingham, we have more problems than a king or I could ever solve, especially when the king is the problem. For injustice, it seems, never ends, unlike life. Eventually, the bowstring sags, the paunch hangs out, and there's nothing more we can do than to sit, watch, and enjoy the show while everyone else does all the work. Don't look at me like that. That's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> and look who it is, a new generation of tyranny, the son of my old rival, the Sheriff of Nottingham. And to instruct the boy in the art of injustice, the old sheriff's very own advisor, the spawn of Satan, Lord Elric, not my fair people. Come the townsfolk. Oh, goody. Nottingham. Nottingham. Home of the weary and the helpless and the sick. Nottingham. Nottingham. A lord can take a hold of anything he picks. Speaking of weary. Thank you. Oh, and thank you. The king thanks you for your generous donations. <laughs> Another day, another burden. I must labor through a lifetime in the heat. Bearing my skin, filled with blisters, bearing torture for a meager sheep of wheat. I hate to rain upon your party, but the sheriff carries news. Hit King Richard's firm decree, of which no one can refuse. To fund his majesty's good soldiers with such burdens on their backs, we have come to claim another humble tax. Silence! My lord, I fear you are mistaken, for you came to us last week. Times of trouble call for more, you forget we're in a war. Mercy, please, my lord, I beg thee, for I'm nothing left to give. You will pay your portion if you want to live. So we toil and sweat through the pain and threats as the wages of our labors slip away. Every penny tossed is a vision lost. Will there ever be a price today? If I give what's required, we will surely face starvation. Then let it be, if God has willed it. Times of war require us all to fight or die. How can you be so heartless? I'm a sheriff, not a judge. If you've nothing here to bring, take your grievance to the king. He has never seen or heard us. Thanks, I doubt he ever will. Guard your words or mark me, peasant blood will spill. Will you pay your tax or not? How can I? Chain her up. Let her stand as an example to those who would defy the king. So we toil and sweat through the pain and threats as the wages of our labors away. Every penny tossed is a vision lost. Will there ever be a fight today? If Robin Hood were Robin here, Hood is dead. And you should thank King Richard for putting an end to that menacing bandit. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, how could you leave when terror dominates? Robin Hood, Robin Hood, if you fight, you'll face a similar fate.
Now get out of my sight! Shoot. Take this one to the prison. I'll deal with the rest. Right. Um. Get out of my way, old hag! What? What about your back? No, I said hag! Yes, and I said what about your back? No, I'm talking about you! It's for me? How much money is in there? No, 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 we're here to collect your money! Yes, your money! Do you have... Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. I love this little kid. You get kid. off me! Yes. She is not worth your time. Do you know who you're speaking to? <laughs> the devil. This man is the Honourable Sheriff of Nottingham. <laughs> this man? The Sheriff of Nottingham? <laughs> and why is that funny? <laughs> Everyone knows the Sheriff is a bitter old loony, haunted by the ghost of Robin Hood. <laughs> May, May he rest in peace. peace. Impudent <laughs> witch! You're referring to the Sheriff's father. This man is his son, Hawk. The new sheriff. The scourge of England. The terror of the poor. This baby-faced boy. <laughs> I thought the king only employed imps as sheriff. <laughs> but this lad is far too handsome to be. By order of his royal highness, King Richard, <laughs> as part of an effort to increase the expansion of the empire. Why the do of you think must I be... hobbled all the way over here for the thrill of paying my taxes? So you have brought payments. My daughter has it. Oh, she lies. I'm not her daughter. Now, dearie, don't be difficult. I have every intention of giving our good king what he deserves. Now, where is it? Aha! <laughs> you see, we already like ate that. our goose and the king took our chicken. So that leaves that. us with one goldfish, one turnip, Two sardines, three onions, this tunic, these shoes, and this sumptuous rat. After all, the king deserves Get the best! Get thing away from me! You would deny a humble subject the privilege of paying her taxes. Lock her up as well. Oh, yes. no. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's talking like an imp. I'm a spy for an old woman. Attacking an old woman? Perhaps we'll make a sheriff of the <laughs> raptor. No. How many crones are there in this village? I'm warning you. No, I'm warning you. While your king gluts himself on their food, these people are starving and exhausted. Ah. Missing another meal could mean certain death. But they would not die. For a murderer! You dare speak of the king that way! Your king killed Robin Hood and his men! Our king rid this country of a filthy band of highway robbers! Right. Because his highness was afraid of a little competition. <laughs> if your Robin Hood was such a legend, how was he defeated in a single skirmish against the king? He had no reason to suspect treachery from a friend and ally, nor could anyone withstand the combined forces of the armies of England. Those who fight against the law must face justice. Justice? You call stealing from the poor justice? The only stealing was done by your Robin Hood. May he burn in hell. It's time for you to go. And just who do you think you are, Robin Hood's mother? <laughs> have to try harder than that. Indeed. No, I'm his daughter. That's my girl. It's one of the Sherwood brats Richard told us to look for. Seize her instead. No, seize them. Duck. You're one with a sword. Your bravery and wit are commendable, though your politics are somewhat misguided, and your bravery and wit leave something to be desired. Milady, quick! <laughs> You're holding it wrong. No, it's another step I'm warning you. Lower your arm a little. You'll be much stronger. Stop now! Or what? <laughs> oh. I tried to teach her. Really, I did. I did that on purpose. If you look, you'll see it directly through the heart. Your point being? 
If that had been your heart, you'd be dead. Wasn't it already dead? Are you sure That's it's through the heart? That's beside the point, Beatrice. Shall we take these women captive? <gasps> I would hate to give Nottingham new martyrs. Yeah. People of Nottingham, we did not come to shed blood, but to serve King Richard. We have delivered his decree and will return at week's end to collect the remainder of the taxes. As you have seen, it is vain to resist. Tell your king. He may have stomped out the spark, but the fire burns on! <laughs> now I'm pretty sure I defeated you, which means I make the demands. Tell your band of ragtag Amazons that the law will continue to stamp out those who take justice into their own hands. Neither you nor the king have seen the last of the Order of Robin Hood! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, for my sake, I sincerely hope not. Come on. Ta ta. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Run away! Beatrice, Beatrice, Beatrice. Are you Captain Robin Hood? Will you protect us? My father's dearest wish was that every man and woman could learn to defend themselves against tyranny. You don't need another Robin Hood. You just need courage. Oh. But, but should you also be in need of assistance, you can find us in the Sherwood. Just to be clear, the sheriff never let me win. I always did it every time through sheer wit and skill. The girls got the wits down. The skill, well, I'm afraid not everything is hereditary. At least he got Marion's looks. Speaking of which, there's my honey bodkin. Uh, the older she gets, the better she looks. And over there is the daughter of one of my best men, Will Scarlet. She certainly inherited Will's flamboyant sense of fashion. Though, who that mysterious cloaked figure is, I can't say. Why should we wait for them when they have no respect for the council? They're probably off gallivanting again. I forbade Aspen to go, and of course, she ignored me. They went to Nottingham to meet the new sheriff. His name is Hawk, and he's an absolute dream. <laughs> the sheriff is our enemy. <laughs> Their intent was to deliver a statement against the king's new taxes. A noble adventure, though the danger makes me sick. Taxes aren't the problem. The king is the problem. Until he's deposed, England can never rest. And therefore, this meeting cannot wait. The revolution is only days away! But not everyone has agreed to a revolution. The yeah. Marion has one fault, is that she's no fun. Lady Marion, this is a time for action, not discussion. The longer we debate, the longer the poor will suffer. It's true. Poverty is terrible indeed, but so is revolution. Let us not be hasty to, to gamble with innocent lives. I hear you, dear matriarch. <laughs> But times of war call for swift action. I need not remind you that with the passing of our dear men, the office of chief yeoman has fallen to me. And I need not remind you that this was only because I refused the office and Aspen was too young. Which is a shame because Aspen would have been a better leader in every way, except in fighting and common sense and Organization. Must we quibble over the past? As we speak, our spies are in the neighboring towns preparing the peasantry for the attack. We even have some nobles on our side. We can't possibly stand against the armies of England. Well, most of Richard's armies are in France. There's never been a better time to strike. <laughs> we lack armor, weapons, troops. One of the lords, a sworn enemy of Richard, has made some very generous contributions to our cause. And he's promised to provide men. All we truly lack is the command of the council. Or if we cannot agree, my command. You were still quite young on that fateful night. I doubt you remember the cry of alarm the rush to safety as our brave men stayed behind and faced the enemy alone 
and outnumbered. And then to return and see them, all of them, bloody, lifeless, as still as stone. Their hopes, ambitions, dreams, all gone. And for what? These were our boys. Lady Scarlet, if you have your way, you will bring many more boys and girls to the same fate. Lady Marion, I'm sorry you cannot see past the means to the ends. If England is to be free, there is a price that must be paid. Mabel, present the agenda. Uh, welcome to the Council of the Merry Women. We will begin with a round of stretches. Stretches. Mm, that's what it says. Really. Reach down. Touch your toes. Stand up straight. Arms out. Forward circles. Can we move on? <laughs> We'd like to thank Gisela Staley for her extraordinary presentation on thorn resistant pantyhose. And Mega Dale for her thought provoking lecture on the ethics of highway robbery. <laughs> We'd also like to thank our fearless leader, Fifi Scarlet. Do not use that name. For never ceasing to <laughs> amuse us with these most entertaining and highly necessary meetings. Thus, we'd like to award her this crown of honor, which you'll find in the chest near your feet. Oh. <laughs> this is Aspen's handwriting. Would you read that? Aspen, I love the point of view. He said I was his only girl every time he sailed. I wrote him every day and he never would reply. But every time he came back, he boxed me in the eye. <laughs> then one day I said, I think I'm bad enough. Though you're tall and handsome, you haven't got the stuff. He said that I would never survive this all alone. I told him I would rather chance upon my own. On a sunny day, I met another boy. We're who holding had a meeting here. Thank goodness you're all right. We smashed them. them. They ran away like cowards. <laughs> you mean you fought? Well, well, well in a manner of speaking, yes. Aspen. I know. I'm all you have left. And you don't want to lose me. Oh. But has it ever occurred to you that I have a will of my own? You're not a fighter. Because you never let me train. And now I'm a disgrace to the family name. You don't have to be your father. Oh, I don't have to be my mother either. <coughs> Aspen was brilliant, Lady Marion. <laughs> Beatrice and Isabella were brilliant. Was the sheriff there? Aspen oh. made such a fool of him. Oh, you would have made your father proud. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Welcome to the meeting. Oh. Was he handsome? Incredibly. He is a slimy puppet for King Richard, and therefore our enemy. At least someone is talking sense. And how are the people holding out? No one would stand up for themselves. It's as if they've forgotten everything that Father taught them. I've seen this all before. But now, more than ever, the order of Robin Hood must stand up and fight back. But how can we, when members of our own ranks, run off without permission, jeopardizing the mission? Oh, must I ask your permission every time I leave the forest? So it was with Robin Hood. I think she's enjoying this just a little no, too no, no, much. No, 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 no. If you were a few years older, you would have taken the power and you know it. No one would have questioned the right of the daughter of Robin Hood to rule over the lonely daughter of Will Scarlet. And heaven help us, you would have been just as reckless as your father. Good point. I'm not mistaken. There are some who call him a hero. Another good point. Must you two fight? You were such good friends when you were children. Oh. The problem, Marion, is that some never grow up. Or is it that some are always finding something to be angry about? We are the merry women. Let's be merry, shall we? <laughs> we spent our youths in the savage.
savage wilderness, sewing, cooking, cleaning, trying to maintain some semblance of humanity while our men subjected us to danger. And what was it all for? Are the people of this country any better off? Yes. If we're truly going to help the poor, we need a real organized movement, not reckless adventures. Oh, who are these poor that you keep referring to? They have names, which you would know if you ever met with them instead of hiding away, waving your fists in the air. Oh. <laughs> and how many peasants did you save today? Give me a number. It's not about the numbers. <laughs> None then. One, which is more than you can say. You have no idea what's going on, do you? We're about to transform the entire nation! Violence only breeds more violence. There's a better way. No, there's not. Stand if you're with the revolution against King Richard! Revolution! Don't you realize we're at war? King Richard? I prefer to go hunting. See, see, that's the problem with you, Aspen. Always avoiding the real problems, the big problems. What makes you more fit to rule than all those whom you ridicule? I am the people's best interest, their chosen voice. You're certain you surveyed them all because no one asked me. No one asked me. Why must you be so difficult? Is this not what your father always wanted? Come, won't you join in our glorious revolution? 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 Are you with us? We attack on Friday. I believe there's a place that we can find a middle ground, with both peace and violence. In nature, 
You should join us. You try my patience! Unnecessary virtue for one who aspires to become queen! Have a good day, your highness. Don't you dare return to Nottingham! I'll go where I want, mother! Don't speak back to your mother! We cannot afford to let them jeopardize the mission. Keep an eye on them. A band of women? Yes, your majesty. It may be time to clean out the Sherwood again. Though there's no need to kill them, the daughter of Robin Hood may prove a useful ally. And you need my men for this? No more than a hundred. I am defending the Empire, <laughs> waging a war in a foreign land at an unbelievable cost in gold, resources, and lives. And you're asking me to spare a hundred men to take on a band of women? They are unusually brave women, sire. This is why I avoid setting foot in England. It's not worth the trouble. If I, if I could have found a buyer, I would have already sold London itself. My lord, we are most humbled that you have come to visit us in Nottingham Castle when there are so many other places you're needed. Though we are of less consequence than Aquitaine or Jerusalem, a rebellion, no matter how small, could spread like fire. The people are unhappy, and if this is anything like Robin Hood's band, it could mean an uprising. They already deposed John. Would they get rid of their rightful king as ordained by God? I think not. But, sire, I think you... While I understand. deal with France, I trust you can see to a band of women. Could prevent a war. We're already at war. Just... Just give me 50 men. I'll think about it. Now, well, if you'll excuse me... I must see to the kitchens, unless my nose is failing me. Strawberry custard awaits. <laughs> Next time, let me do the talking. You've let yet to learn to speak to those in power. I told him the truth. The truth isn't good enough. You lack flattery and finesse. Hmm? Ow. Is it always so hard? It was not so with John. Your father and I served him faithfully for many years while Richard, this so-called king, was away waging wars. John may have had his faults, but at least he cared about his country. And where is John now? In exile, of course. But it's only a matter of time before Richard disappears again. What and exactly when he do you does, mean by that? I did my <laughs> nose did fail me. It was raisin custard. What I cannot stand. <laughs> so sorry. What are you two still doing here? Oh, forgive us, sire. We were Did I ever sleeping. tell you about the Battle of Arsa? Uh, why, no. Do go on. My men and I had just taken the city of Acre, the most tactical point in all of the Holy Land, when then, out of nowhere, it happened. Just smile and nod, whatever he says. We were marching along the coast. When the Arabs, a numerous host, attacked with a volley of arrows, scaring us all up to death. Still I ordered, stay firm to your ranks, as we suffered the blows on our flanks. Nothing would drive us to scatter, though my men begged me to fight. When the Arabs saw no other way, their reckless footmen charged into the fray. Finally, unsheathing my broadsword, I shouted these heartening words. For the Christians, for the nations, for the future generations, there's a duty we are bound to with our blood. With our courage, with our might, we must slaughter left and right. Until none are left to fight, we will go down like knights. No doubt, our pivotal moment, perhaps the greatest there ever has been. But legends are still being written. Duty is calling again. 
these are no regular women. All of England is under their spell. They're leading the people against you. Bewitching with powers from hell. Do you take me for a fool? Look at this. Hmm? The daughter of Robin Hood shot this tiny target right through the heart from an extraordinary distance. Is that not true, Hawk? Um, are you I sure mean, it's through the heart? It's dead, isn't it? Clearly, the skills are beyond compare. Our rivals have got us surrounded. Any moment, they'll spring an attack. Have you the heart of a lion? This is no time to look back. For the Christians, for the nations, for the future generations, there's a duty we are bound to with our blood. For the Christians, for the nations, for the future generations, with our courage, with our might, we must slaughter left and right until none are left to fight. We will go down like knights. If we're going to defend, we'll need a thousand men. Please don't make me laugh, I will give you half. Swear upon your arms, you will do no harm to the daughter of Robin Hood. Why should you care? Tell me, do you swear? The things I do are no concern to you. By my troth, I will give my oath for the daughter of Robin Hood. For the Christians, for the, Christians, for the nations, for the, nations, for the, future, for the future generations. generations. There's a duty we are bound to with our blood. For the Christians, for the Christians, for the nations, for the future, for the future generations. generations. With our courage, with our might, we must slaughter left and right. With no care for wrong or right, we'll kill everything in sight. Until none are left to fight, we will go down like knights. Go down like knights. Go down like knights. I think it went this way. So, uh... What's with you telling Scarlet that you're off hunting? You've never hit a target before in your life. Oh, you know I would say anything to get out of one of those gowns. Oh my god, yes. When did everything get so serious? We never used to worry about saving the nation. It was always about helping individuals and making fools of authority figures. Yes. You're frightened. It's probably just a bird. It was shaking all kinds of bushes. No bird is that clumsy. All these councils and rules. This isn't what Father wanted. As he always said, law... Law is a poor substitute for honor. I'm pretty sure I never said that. <laughs> Must you be so gloomy? Everyone else thinks we're at the dawning of a new age. Uh, but a new age of what? There! Did you hear that? Shouldn't you see what it is before you shoot it? If it has flesh, I'll eat it. I'm hungry. Maybe we should join Scarlet. What? I mean, after all, she is making a real difference, whereas I... What? I can't even notch a bow! Okay, that's not super... Dawn, you mother for making me weak while claiming to protect me. And Dawn, you father for just leaving me like this! How am I supposed to carry on a legacy now, hmm? If only you knew how much it hurt me. Come to mommy, you sweet fat beast. Are you really singing right now? Hunted, carelessly lacking in self. 
how he can talk unless I'm mistaken. You were the one nearly shot like a bird. I know you would never murder in cold blood, not from the stories I've heard. The sheriff of Nottingham considers himself an innocent man. <laughs> I traveled alone, I came unprotected, only to tell you our plan. We've heard the talk of revolution, the peasants rising against the crown. We can find a better solution, a way of peace if you'll back down. If I were you, I wouldn't have told us you have a sword and came here alone. Perhaps we should hear him wear your manners. He is a guest in our home. <laughs> I fear there is more for protecting the country. I've 500 men prepared to use force. Give me an oath, or putting it bluntly, the fate of your sisters is yours. Let's take him while we can, then there will be no one to give command. That That's mean. just the kind of justification they need to slaughter. I thought you would see the reason to battle treason. I'm duty bound. We can find a better solution, a way of peace if you look down. The usual cause for murder and tyranny. I've heard enough of his treacherous tongue. Forgive what I said of your father in villainy. You and I both were so young. Dissolve this band of highway robbers And to your king you must make your vow But I'm afraid I cannot For my conscience will not allow We, we can, can find, find a, a better solution A way of peace if you'll back down Thank you for warning the danger is swarming There's something I'll do in return Forget about highways, we're coming on Friday And Nottingham Castle will burn if peace is your aim, then unless you're insane, you will gather your men to defend. If this is a lie and you're leading a ride and your bandits are nearing their end. I have their time, there's just no denying, it's clear they were destined to fight. Their boundaries are blurred, it's completely absurd, but I'm feeling the magic tonight. No. We, we can, can find, find a better solution, a way of peace, if you'll back down. We can find a better solution, a way of peace, if you'll back down. So, this revolution of yours is happening on Friday, then? If you care about Nottingham at all, you'll be there to stop it, not wasting your time here. And you would betray your own band? Some of us disagree on the means for achieving peace. Well, then, we shall see on Friday whether you are a liar and a scoundrel or not. If so, expect my army the next day. Now get out of here! With pleasure. Wait! Actually, you know, it's nearly dinner time, and I'm sure the sheriff is very hungry. <laughs> exactly. That's why Won't I said to go Won't you join with... us for dinner? Hold on. We haven't even caught anything. That's what mothers are for. Surely you can't say no to Maid Marian's famous stew. Well, I'm not sure I'm intimidated. <laughs> stew sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Now we must blind you. What? Oh, Do it blindfold. nice and tight. Uh, Ouch. What's the hair? Moving, What's the hair? Stop moving. This is really necessary. We can't have you discovering our secret hideout now, can we? Right. <laughs> Come on. Perfect. Right. <laughs> Steady. I've got you. Must you stand so close to him? Lift up your foot. <laughs> now she's the one enjoying this too much. Oh dear, indeed. There was a rock back there. Voila! Make yourself comfortable, and we'll be with you shortly. Oh! You've gone too far this time. Revealing our plan to the enemy? What if we're surrounded by enemies on all sides? I just think you ought to look before you leap. 
My conscience is clear. That's precisely the problem. And why invite him to dinner? He's our guest. He's, He's our, guest. our enemy. Then let's make our enemy into our guest. My father used to do this all the time. I True promise. Boy. Goodness gracious. You didn't tell me you had a guest. Oh, yes, mother. This is the new sheriff of Nottingham. My lady. Oh, I hear you're slimy and evil. Mother. What? <laughs> Is the suit ready? Oh, I'll worry about that. You're in charge of entertainment. Oh, no. <laughs> and who is this? It's him. Hot. Jeremy, he's looking at me. How's my hair? <laughs> who cares about your hair? How's my hair? As I was trying to tell you, they met in the forest in Aspen. Should have known this was Aspen's doing. Aspen! My lady waits. You got some nerve bringing a man here without my permission. You must be Lady Scarlet. I've heard of you. You have? Why, yes. Well, I don't agree with the views of your band on anything. I'm nevertheless impressed by the way you've organized all this. It's no small feat, living as outlaws in the woods. Well, it's certainly not easy, especially to be their leader. But someone has to do it. Well, perhaps you and I have more in common than one might think. Yes, perhaps we do. <laughs> oh. May I have your attention, please? For tonight's entertainment, me, Beatrice, and Isabella, and I will we be We did not sign up for this. We'll it's be performing a rousing ballad of love and passion, hope and tragedy, as expressed in an old sea shanty taught to me by my beloved father. Oh, I do love this one. Stop dragging me into everything. It's fun. <laughs> To a sailor who loved a point of ale He said I was his only girl every time he sailed I wrote him every day and he never would reply But every time he came back he box me in the eye Oh no, no, no! Straight to the eye! Then one day I said, I think I'm bad enough Though you're tall and handsome, you haven't got the stuff He said that I would never survive this world alone I told him I would rather chance upon my own and on a sunny day, I met another boy Who only had a farm, but how we did enjoy The simple things I gave for cotton rolling through the trees And every time we met, I gave him such a squeeze Though to be his girl meant a life of grueling chores Never did I miss the darker days before The sailor had to watch as we frolicked hand in hand Laughing as we showed off our mountain wedding band. <laughs> Sir? Before we tied the knot, the sailor interposed, insulting my dear lover with temper uncontrolled. They threw a punch or two till my lover took the fist. The other dragged me with him, sailing through the mist. Oh, no. you cry about it. I love you. But when I turned around, I saw my saving grace. My lover had a ship and was beating out the race. He climbed across the deck, a sword between his teeth. They battled up for hours, not a moment of relief. Finally, I said, I think I've had enough. Marching to the sailor, I took him by the scrub. I cast him overboard as a teaser for the fish. Bravo, my lady. There's something magical about this forest, for sure. I see why you stay here. Um, and how's the stew? <laughs> I dare say I've never had tastier meat. <laughs> Not everyone likes venison. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, say, you say venison? Yes. <laughs> yes, as in the king's venison. Congratulations. You are now an honorary outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> 
I fear it is time for our sheriff to be on his way. Aww. As much as we are honored by his presence, uh, we have important matters to discuss. Yes, you've all been very hospitable, but uh, I should excuse really... Excuse me, be... I'd be happy to take your payment. <laughs> payment? Yes, for the fine dinner, the evening's entertainment. Now be a dear and hand over your purse. Now where would you get the idea that I had any money? Oh. Didn't we see you just this morning sorting large sums of money from the peasantry? <laughs> I really hate you. Oh, dear. Well, this is not very much. Well, yeah. You're a smart right. one. Well, it's not the amount that matters, but the spirit by which it is given. I assure you, I'm resenting this. <laughs> we'll see that it's put to the best possible use. On that note, we'll go ahead and take you back to the road. Come with me. <coughs> Allow me to take yes. him this time. Oh, but Scarlet, you have such important business to attend to. Oh. Really attend? <laughs> uh, this way, actually. Watch the rock this time. I'd better keep an eye on those two. So let me get this straight. I come to threaten you and I leave with dinner and entertainment? Yes, and I was the horrible one robbing you, making you an outlaw. Oh, but if I'm an outlaw, why do I still have to wear the blindfold? The order of Robin Hood is about more than just poaching. Such as? Such as bravery, honor, principle. And you think I lack those qualities? You oppress the poor. I follow my king's commands no matter how difficult. Does that not take honor, bravery, principle? Or just blind submission? There is an order to heaven and earth, and defying it only leads to misery. Have you not seen the misery in Nottingham? You need to learn to look at the bigger picture. And you need to learn to look at what's right in front of you. I think I could learn to do that. The road is straight ahead. I trust you can take it from here. Yes, well, I shall see you on Friday when this revolution takes place. Or on Saturday when your army comes to slaughter us. But what if there was a, a better way than I all that? I told you, we will never submit to King Richard, not after what he's done. Perhaps someday there could be a different kind of kingdom, one that's big enough for the both of us. <laughs> Who would rule that? It wouldn't need rulers. Every man and woman would be the king and queen of their own household. We'd have no choice but to govern ourselves. Those are radical thoughts. For a sheriff, might I remind you? Seems you've brought out the worst in me. <laughs> oh, I've only just begun to corrupt you. Spend any more time in the Sherwood, and soon you'll be donning Lincoln Green tights. Lincoln Green tights? What would the people say? <laughs> They'd say, look, the sheriff has found his soul. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah. Well, I would shake your hand or something. I'd stab you. <laughs> I am leaving. Yes, yes. you are. Leaving, leaving, leaving. Aspen. Yes? I mean, yes. The north side of Nottingham Castle is heavily fortified. You'd be foolish to attack it head on. You mean the south side is vulnerable? I didn't say that. Oh, well, your secret is safe with you me. You didn't hear it from me. Nor did you hear this from me. Good night. <laughs> Good night. You know, it's not a bad idea. I agree. I mean, what? Our, our own country. I'll be thinking about that. As will I. Ah, there you are. What have you been up to? And why are you smiling? Hey, whatever you've been doing, I do not approve. <laughs> oh, Robin. Oh, hello. Spying on people just isn't as much fun without you. <laughs> You're telling me. They remind me of us, don't you think? You've got to be joking. Oh, one of us was good and proper. The other, questionable in virtually every way. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. How will it end, I wonder? Can you see it from where you are? 
Not in the slightest. Oh. I suppose not knowing is what makes it all an adventure. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Can you believe the nerve of that girl making us fraternize with the enemy? <laughs> Are you really going to give Huck's money to the poor? It will help fund the revolution, even if only a little. Oh my uh, you're lucky Aspen's not here. Uh -huh. <laughs> so long as men like him go on hoarding our wealth, there will be no justice in Nottingham. They forced us into exile. They killed our men. They steal from the poor and give to the rich, glutting themselves on the fruits of our labor. When we strike, we must strike to kill. It is not I, but justice that demands it. Wouldn't that depend on who we're killing? Anyone who's loyal to a murderous crown has forfeited his right to life. I should think there might be individual circumstances by which we might judge. Times of war require us to look beyond the individual for the good of the nation. And My what if a good nation is nothing but a multiplicity of good individuals? I good mean, individuals are no substitute for strong leadership. But supposing the leaders are misguided, the will of the people will determine what's right. But supposing the people are corrupt. Will you stop talking? <laughs> My lady, as I've been trying to tell you all night, the sheriff is planning to attack us. He's heard rumors of the revolution. It's true. We must negotiate. <laughs> negotiate with the servant Richard. He can be reasoned with, otherwise there will be war. Fools, we want war. Aspen! <laughs> Did he kiss really be a My he lady, I am not finished. Aspen has divulged our plans to the sheriff. She lies! Aspen! It's true, I did. What did you tell him? Just that we're attacking him on Friday. It's only sporting to let your opponent know when to expect you. Oh, you never cease to amaze me! Seize her! Unless I never did finish hunting. Ah! Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my way! Oh, she's gone. As always, you've overlooked the reality of the situation. Lock her up. Thanks to this blabbing imbecile, not only our safety, but our entire mission has been compromised! Hawk is not the man that we thought he was. He seems concerned for our safety. He thinks that attacking the castle straight on will be suicide. <laughs> he would say that, wouldn't he? We can no longer stay here, nor can we wait until Friday. The time for action is now, before the sheriff and his men have time to prepare. Mabel, send word to the villages that we will attack tomorrow. Yes, my the lady. The rest of you, pack up now! And what of Aspen? By her own confession, she's guilty of treason. And you know what that means. You'll have to kill me first. And me. And me. Me too, but, you know. I never said I would kill her. She's our sister. Oh. Though I can't have her causing any more trouble. You two, stay here and watch her. Only two guards? Are you sure that's why? If you ever interfere with me again, I will not be so kind. Come, ladies. I'm not leaving. Beatrice, do as she says. I'm not worth dying for. Besides, someone will be needed to provide the expedition with common sense. If either of you break rank or attempt to rescue her, I'll have no choice but to kill you. Do you understand? Oh, I'll learn it on my own. Don't worry. She just threatened us. I know. Just go on, go on. Oh, when you ladies get hungry, there's some fresh tarts in the kitchen. Oh, thank you, Mother. Oh, if anyone's a disgrace, it's me. I should have empowered you to follow your own path instead of standing in your way. I'm sorry that, that I blamed you. Though I wouldn't change a thing about you, because what you have up here is exactly what we need right now. Why did you wink at her? 
Oh, it's how we say I love you. <laughs> yes, yes. And I love you too, mother. Oh. <laughs> Fighting bad guys is kind of my thing. Have fun revolting, everyone. <laughs> and when this goes wrong, for it will. I hope that you all come back and join me in the Sherwood. <laughs> Spare me! Got it! Don't forget to attack the south entrance! You're already gone. You're right. Helpless and unneeded by heavy chains, discarded and defeated, unworthy of the fame of my name. The heroine of legend is nothing but a dream. Every deed attempted plays out in a similar theme. Father, you told me to join in the fight, but how when I don't know which side is right Bring on the mobs and bring on the fun Richard, my friend, you've nowhere to run A new day's beginning to dawn Is this the way to move on? The towers of tyrants are crumbling beneath, beneath the shadows so loud. Tell me who am I to stand against the crowd? Come, won't you join in a glorious revolution? Come, won't you join in a glorious revolution? Come, won't you join in a Whether to defend, whether to attack Is this girl a friend, will she stab me in the back? No reason to dismay, my men are on the way Whether here or there, the peasants haven't got a prayer And beat them into swords Stand against your enemies The royalty and lords Torment and oppression We will turn upon their heads They'll give us our demands Or they'll be dead Gather up your farming tools And beat them into swords Stand against your enemies The royalty and lords Torment and oppression We will turn upon their heads They'll give us our demands Or they'll be dead Something in me still wants to trust you. As much as I love the thrill of murder, I'd rather slip out as a deserter. My feet is calling, my blood is rushing. I cannot stand by and just do nothing. Whether I turn on my own and despite who's on the throne, I must fight. Helpless and unneeded, bound by any chains. Discarded and defeated, it's time to use my friends. 
they're asleep. What was that? Nothing. Did you say something? No, I was just talking to myself. It's a coping mechanism for the severely bored. You should try it sometime. I'll give the signal. You did it again. Did what? You said something about a signal. No, signal? no, no, no. I was singing a song, you know. I'll give the signal. He'll bring the sausages. <laughs> you know, you must have heard that one. I'm sure you've heard it. She's lying. What are you looking for? There's no one out there. I'm guessing a bird. But. Or an ambush. Everyone's back at Nottingham. There couldn't possibly be a rescue mission. Couldn't there be? Well, I suppose it is remotely possible. <gasps> I mean, I do have quite a few other friends in high places. Actually, a lot. And my father and mother are both known for their swashbuckling <laughs> stealth, you know normally ending with an arrow through someone's heart. <laughs> but I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Is there an ambush or not? There is not. No, I tell you, she's lying! But if there was someone out there, I would think twice about threatening me. After all, it is your hearts on the line. You heard her warn Scarlet about leaving her here with two guards. It was our death. Settle. Settle down. Tell them to come out. Tell who? Enough of your game! All right. Come out! <laughs> Whoever you are. They're not going to show themselves before they attack. They're still waiting for her signal. Give them the signal. What signal? Give them the bloody signal! If you say so, no! I guess... No, no, never mind. We surrender! No! No, we don't! Yes, we do! No, you cannot surrender without my, without my permission. <laughs> uh, if there really was someone out, it wouldn't be my permission that mattered. What do you want from us? Just unchain me and chain yourselves in my place, and no one has to get hurt. This is Scarlet's fault, not ours. True. Oh, very good. This is much better. Do them nice and tight, please. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. You've behaved very honorably. Goodbye. Tell us the truth. Who's in the bushes? As I said, it was probably a bird. Oh. Well done. It was you? <laughs> Why didn't you help me? We were going to eventually, but it seemed like you had everything under control. That. And you were really entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> How did you escape, even? Sheer skill. No one was watching. Oh, Shh. right. That sounds better. So what now? Let me guess. You're hoping that I have a plan of action. Yes. Because you're entirely clueless as to what to do? Absolutely. That makes three of us. <laughs> On the one hand, Richard is awful. Oh, he's awful. On yes. the other hand, Scarlet is awful. Oh, that's All right, but which one is worse, do you think? Definitely you? Richard. No, I think it's Scarlet. <laughs> All right, then. Um, what would make them both really mad? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, it's going to be so good. Yes. So what if we stole Richard's crown before Scarlet could? Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Let's great. go. Yeah, Let's can go. we come with you? Sure. No. no. Well, all right. I'm just kidding. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Attack 
is only days away. We should be preparing. I already gave you the men you wanted. You see to it. I have yet to see them. Oh, forgive me, but you've been so very busy. I've been seeing to the arrangements of the army. In fact, they're right outside the castle walls as we speak. Oh, do you hear that? It sounds like there's someone at the door. I'll go see who it is. These walls are impenetrable. The archers are well equipped. The only way this castle will fall is through treachery from the inside. Oh, oh no! It appears we're under siege! What? Already? You said you would stamp them out! She lied to me. You fool! What did you expect? <laughs> For nothing ah! What? Where did it come from? Oh no! Oh. Get off of me! Oh, come on, Hawk! Give it a good show, lad! Come on! My name is Gunn. Can we not discuss your grievances? Why shed blood? We have only one demand. Richard must surrender his crown. Never! Well, bring that to me! Ah. If you don't wish to die, stand down! To die, I can do. To stand down, I cannot. My loyalty is to the crown, not my own life. Why are you talking about it? Oh. 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 oh my! Oh no, Hawk! Oh. 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 oh my! Oh! <laughs> Let me finish him off. He deserves to die! No! We need him for questioning. Lock him in the tower. Oh, this is ghosting! You said your loyalty was to the crown. You Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Long, Long live, live the, the queen. queen! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Or whatever. Crown me! <laughs> the age of tyranny has ended! From henceforth, Nottingham and all of England shall be ruled by the people. It is only with a desire to serve that I accept my station as your mouthpiece. Unlike my predecessors, I will do all in my power to ensure fairness and prosperity for one and all. From the lowest peasant to the highest lord, there will be no more rich and no more... <laughs> Oh, don't stop. We're looking forward to such an amusing reign. In the meantime, I'll put good use to this. This is no joke! Oh, my thoughts exactly. You freed yourself from one tyrant. Why choose another? Seize her! Anyone who wishes to be free can join me in the Sherwood. How are you, Mother? How was the battle for you? Oh, is it all I'm, right? I'm fine. It was kind of scary. I've A hundred pounds for whoever catches the traitor as for you, you and I have a country to run. Watch out. That makes three of us. <laughs> this accomplished nothing. Renegades 
Should I hunt them down? Should I seek their aid? I know the laws. They once were just. I hold the keys in hand and they've turned to rust. But who will help us when the nation is torn? Where have our leaders gone and who will stand against the storm? I know I must choose between unspeakable paths, the people's faith, or let my darkest fears consume at last. I feel I must rise, if only someone else would. But what to do about the daughter of the Robin Hood? I can still see by the light of the moon, the castle stands on and he will dress our battle wounds. I look around and I see no one else who will take a stand. Someone has to lead the remnants of this merry band. I know my mother wills it, led by my father's spirit, but how to gain the upper hand? I served King Richard, but now I have a queen. My heart's with neither, but I'm trapped in a machine. Would I could withdraw, I must serve the law and stop these reckless Sherwood fiends. And who will help us when the nation is torn? Where have our leaders gone and who will stand against the storm? I know I must choose between unspeakable paths. The people's faithful let my darkest fears consume the past. I feel I must rise if only someone else would. I must fight against the mantle of the Robin Hood. By the light of the moon, we will stand Dress our battle wounds. I can still see by the light of the moon. We will stand on and we will dress our battle wounds. shoulders. Few will appreciate the sacrifices she's made, the pain she's endured. The worst part of it is that despite all the surrounding noise, there's no hiding from moments of quiet reflection when one must answer to their own conscience. I certainly know how that is, and that's why I pity her. My lady, the wounded have been taken care of, and the dead buried. 79 in total. Was it worth it? If it pleases you, I'll take my leave now. Good luck. Lord Jack will see you now. Her Majesty will now see Lord Jack. <clears throat> You've done well, my lady. We are very pleased with your revolution. But where's your crown? I have a headache. But don't you think that you, you have the money? But of course. Spend it wisely. You've promised me more allies. And I am making good on that promise. As we speak, my men are gathering an army from neighboring cities. You need not fear those loyal to Richard. How should I proceed? Don't change a thing. In a very short time, we'll finish what I began. Very good. Dismissed! Lord Jack will leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is to be a queen without a crown? <sighs> <sighs> Why haven't you found Aspen yet? Your Majesty, please. You know how our band moves from place to place. I could find them. Must I do everything myself? My lady? They're the guards you called for. Never a moment's rest. <laughs> how 
again. Did Aspen escape? It was terrible. They surrounded us on all sides. <laughs> Who? She has friends in high places. We're lucky to have escaped with our lives. Which may not be the case if you fail me again. You're needed here in the castle. Stand by for your orders. Yes, Your Majesty. And tell the other guards no one is to enter the castle walls without my permission. More of them. I'm afraid we still have a long line to get through. Let's get this over with. You may proceed to the throne. Okay, it's been taken forever. <laughs> Scarlet. You've been very good and generous, honoring the coat you swore. Pray it won't offend your remnants if I were to ask for more. The bloody revolution's well and nice, till it takes a husband's life. Caring for a household has a price. Will you help a widowed wife? Five pounds for your family. Thank you, Your Majesty. Our family always works as hard as theirs, though we have more mouths to feed. Do we not deserve an equal share, laboring until we bleed? As you wish, the funds will arrive shortly. Tell me why should they get five whole pounds while everybody else gets three? The money should be the lawful bounds of family size and need. We need more. We need more. A little more. A little more. We wouldn't stoop to grovel if we were so very poor. We need more. We need more. What do we pay you for? Give me some time and I'll meet everyone's need. Need? Everything they need to grow a crop trickles to the ground for free. I who have to run a metal shop purchase every scrap I need. If you're giving them a sum of five, I will take a claim of ten. Ten! Never have I seen an ounce arrive. I'm coming to complain again. Every citizen must come and sign if they want to claim their perks. I am 87th place in line. This system doesn't work. We need more. We need more. A little more. A little more. We wouldn't stoop to grovel if we were so very poor. We need more. We need more. A little more. A little more. So help the weary, help the sick. What do we pay you for? Everyone is spending, acting like a lord, taking everything they possibly can hoard. What's our money worth now? How to get ahead? Sinking all our savings for a loaf of bread. For a loaf of bread. We, the mighty lords, have suffered most, enduring all the mobs and raids. The time to pay your debt is coming close. Will you keep the oaths you made? I'm raising many taxes to recoup the money for the royal purse. Why did we entrust the throne to you? Your burden's even worse. We need more. We need more. We've only just begun the new order. Now we must look to neighboring towns where greedy lords are still hoarding the wealth. <laughs> Help us with our next campaign and there will be shares for everyone. Food, land, titles, anything you want. Those who help us the most will receive the greatest reward. She's right. Our question shouldn't be what can Nottingham give us. It should be what can Derbyshire give us? Yeah, down with Derbyshire! Down with Derbyshire! Dismiss them. Her Majesty will hear no more now. You will leave. Um, oh, uh, excuse me? <clears throat> As will you. My lady, 
How are my taxes coming? The people aren't happy. I've never heard so many complaints. They're saying you're worse, worse than, than Richard. Worse than Richard, I know. The greedy and ignorant. We've already exhausted the treasury. There's nothing left. Unless Richard has a secret stash somewhere. Richard has already told you everything. Doubtful. I've called for a torturer to loosen his tongue. You're wasting your time. Well, supposing I am, at least I still have friends who are help willing to help fund our operations. You shouldn't take bribes. They tend to expect something in return. With all due respect, the lords are our allies. It's the peasants you need to look out for. Has there been any resistance? So far, we've been able to keep the peace, but I can't say how long it'll last. You have the money? From today. Ooh. And the rest? People have been disappearing. Homes were empty. What? Rumor has it they're hiding out in the forest. Perhaps you might know where. This has the stench of Aspen Hood. I would be honored to track her down for you. No, I told you. I need you here with me. You know where to find me. Wait. Please. Stay a moment, it's lonely being queen. I'm surrounded day and night. No one truly understands me. I wonder how I'd float along without you. You're the one I depend upon. I'm so glad I found you. I can hear the people calling out for me. I can see them stopping in the streets. I can see that I might not be everything they need. Maybe you can help me be everything they need. Maybe. Oh. Very nice. I'm uh, Captain Elric. Maybe you can lock up my heart and make it see. My king, oh, think of how powerful a reign. With us together, let me be your ball and chain. Forgive me, my lady, but I really should see to my duty. What can I do to make you see? I'm the only one for you, the one to complete your dream. I don't think we're seeing the same thing in this situation. I can feel it, for it deeply echoes my own. Don't be a fool, boy, take her hand. Right here. She's all powerful. You have that the whole time. She rules the land. You can be the king she dearly needs. Could be. Oh, well. <laughs> and should you need a sheriff, <laughs> I just happen to be free. Oh. Everything you need is here surrounding you. I'm Everything we need. Oh. <laughs> Lock up my heart. How powerful a reign! No, no, absolutely not. With us together, let me be your ball and chain. Fate has brought the two of us together here. And I have tried to change their minds to hope from fear. But I cannot do it alone. You know you I didn't realize that England was yours to give. Are you refusing me? Consider it, my boy. Don't be a fool. Forgive me, my lady, but I must see to my duties. 
Why are you so eager to find Aspen? Are you in league with her? Of course not. <laughs> Doubtful story about missing peasants. I think you've been keeping the money for yourself. I would not! What? Scarlet. <laughs> I believe go. this man to be a traitor. Lock him in the tower. This is baseless. It is for the good of England. As soon as you're ready, everything I offered will be yours. Long live King Richard. Oh, <laughs> bad move. Forgive him, my lady, and his impudence. He knows little of politics and even less of love. You deserve better. <laughs> Such as? I should think it obvious that what you na need is a man of experience. One unafraid to confront the grim realities of life. Who knows a true queen when he sees one? Hmm, I like the way you talk. Well, I like the way you look. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. My liege, I present to you the torturer. Your greatness! Oh, finally! We've searched far and wide for someone who understands the fine art of torture. I'm told you're the best, though I didn't expect a woman. No one knows pain better than women. Do you... I know. Do you also happen to have a cure for pain? I have a splitting headache. Oh, I know just the remedy. But first, Tell me about this defiant captive of yours. Richard, the former king, he has to have more money stashed somewhere. There's no way he was as poor as all this. A little time with this might loosen his tongue. <laughs> That's hmm? great. You'll also find the sheriff there, if you wouldn't mind helping him reconsider his loyalties. But if not, it's no big deal. Shut up! Oh, fine. I assure you, the pleasure is all mine. I'm hungry. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes. Because oh, I'm hungry. Oh. Reminds me of a time I was with my men, we were riding down, uh, riding through a village some 12 miles from Jerusalem. The Arabs had burned down the poor village's farms, and I saw there on the road a little boy with empty eyes looking up at me. He looked so hungry. <sighs> Surely your protecting him from his adversaries counted for something, my lord. Perhaps. Though I wish I'd just given him some bread. Do you know the real reason I spent so much time fighting in the Holy Land? The food is to die for. <laughs> oh, flatbread dripping in garlic butter. Oh. Deep fried falafels. Mm. Roasted asparagus. Woo! Fresh dates and olives. Oh, baklava. I don't even know what that is. Oh, oozing with honey. Oh. And oh, the spices. Oh, glory is one thing. But good food is quite another. If I had to do it all over again, I'd be a king of chefs. <laughs> Pardon the intrusion, but we have some important business to attend to. I already told Scarlet everything I know. She thinks you're hiding money from her. Where is it? Do you think running a kingdom is cheap? How about waging foreign wars? I relied on every penny of those taxes, and if she's already, already squandered them, that's on her. You lie. Torture me as you will. It won't change the truth. And you, Lord Sheriff, the Queen questions your loyalties. What do you know of this outlaw, Aspen Hood? She is a lawless troublemaker. The daughter of the infamous bandit. I have every reason to dislike her. But? But it seems reason has failed us all. You care for her. Unlike some of her companions, she's actually brave, kind, rather brilliant, actually. And uh, pretty. <laughs> what do you care? 
If I were you, I wouldn't talk back to the one who's about to cause you excruciating pain. Now, is she pretty? You heard the king. Your torture won't change the truth. I think I'm going to need something sharper. Matt, I borrow your broadsword. They're not enough. Yours as well, please. Much better. Is she pretty? You're mad. Is she pretty? She's beautiful, all right? <sighs> Wonderful. Question, would you rather be chained up or clubbed over your heads? This is a swashbuckling rescue. One in which you, the guards, are about to get hurt very badly. I don't follow. Oh. I'm Aspen Hood. Oh, not again! I really, really hate you. <laughs> and I'm pointing swords at you, so... When you put it that way... We'll take the shackles. Perfect. Oh, dearie. Hurry it up. I mean, just hurry. Nice and tight again, if you don't mind. It looks like you should use help. <laughs> Have you come to me for revenge? No. Enough blood has been spilled already. Now, can I trust you with this? Only if I can trust you. Come on. Wait, why are they raising the drawbridge? Oh, I bribed the guards. Brilliant. <laughs> oh. oh You're right, Your Majesty. I, I thank you, dear lady. From here, I can find allies in other lands to help me reclaim my throne. All due respect, Scarlet. sir. I did not go to the pains of rescuing you just to put another tyrant on the throne. If I were still in power, those would be words of treason. My words are true. You were a tyrant, as was John and so many before him. Few are capable of wielding so much power. That's your father speaking, against whom I must say I regret my actions. You killed him. In cold blood, why should I not do the same? Do not threaten my king. So this is about revenge. I don't know. I'm figuring it out as I go. Well, you better figure it out quick, because we're being pursued. Look, they're my men, I'll deal with them. You two hide. Are you going to betray us? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm figuring it out as I go. Oh. Come on. Come on, then. Elric. Where are the others? We split up. You're telling me you lost the king. <laughs> Seize him. Hurry up about it. Come, Come on. Then. Oh, they're loyal to me oh. now. Did I not mention that? <laughs> <sighs> if Richard falls into the hands of rebels, it could ruin everything. Long live, king. No, never mind. What was that? All right, then. Uh, oh. Long live Queen! No, definitely not that one. For England? For England! For England! <laughs> For England! Give me that! Ow! <laughs> 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 oh, you! Oh, oh, that was cheating, and you know. Oh, 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 o
I was only trying to keep you safe. Safe in that tower? If you were half the man your father was, you would ally yourself with the Queen. It's the only way for now. For now? There are forces at work that neither of you can comprehend. If you don't side with the Queen, not only will you be on the wrong side of history, there will be dire consequences right now. What the future holds, I cannot say. The only thing that is clear is what I must do right now, right here. And that is? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was strangely fulfilling. I should listen to my conscience more often. <sighs> right then. Well done, Beatrice. Were you here the whole time? <laughs> yes. Where's Isabella? She was captured. An army is gathering all around. What? What for? I don't know, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we'll have to just come back for her. I don't know. Uh, Your Majesty. I believe you two were debating whether or not to kill me. Oh. Yes, and I had a sword pointed at you. If we reinstate this man, there will be cries on all sides for vengeance and retribution. Nottingham will be destroyed. It'll just ruin everything that your father and mine fought for. Then why did we rescue him? Not to mention the bloody sheriff. Because, well, I thought it would make Scarlet mad. Oh, good so grief. You really are the worst. <laughs> just give me a moment. If we can figure out a way to get rid of Richard and Scarlet, and then make the right alliances with the right people, then maybe we can Aspen, figure out. perhaps you two are looking too far into the future. Instead of what's right in front of you. Do you really want to kill your king? No. Forgive me, your majesty. You have your mother's eyes and your father's heart. I love them, you know. That's why I performed their marriage. They fought for justice when I was away, as I so often was. To thank them, I pardoned all of the outlaws in the Sherwood and entrusted them with high offices. But then I had to return to my wars, and I could only rely on the words of my advisors. They told me Robin Hood and his men had returned to the Sherwood and were causing mischief. He grew restless with lands and titles. Our, our home was always the Sherwood. Some said he had become a law in himself, a second king. Not even he could handle the power. And there can only be one king in England. Not that you ever were in England. And so I sent an army to settle the matter. But I never imagined it would end the way it did. And for that, I am sorry. Truly, I am. Whether or not that is true, I know I must forgive you. And I will help you reclaim your throne on one condition. Yes? That you come visit my country. Your country? Yes, and try my mother's stew. Stew? Yes. I'm not oh. doing another dance, even if it is for a king. Really, be Come on, Did Beatrice. somebody say stew? Oh. Stay down. Oh. Wait, someone's coming. Is that Scarlet? What is she wearing? Oh, it's a bathing suit. <laughs> I convinced her that taking a dip in the pond would cure her headache. <laughs> Over it's this. about to get a lot worse. She go. Uh, oh. Lord Elric, uh, what is going on here? I would like some stew too. Wake up, oh, you idiot! Uh, the rebels, I think. They were here? Uh, they took the prisoners. Uh, what? We fought valiantly, but there were too many of them. The Sherwood is the last defense they have, but not for long. Now is the time to prepare. Lower the... Why is the drawbridge up? Lower the drawbridge! No can do! What? Queen's order! I am the queen! A crazy looking woman dressed like that! Yes, I mean... No, just lower the drawbridge! If you're the queen, Where's your crown? Ah! So loud! Ah, uh, my lady, I heard of the escaped prisoner and... What the blazes are you wearing? 
never mind that. I'll capture them again. If we do not act swiftly, then the, the loyalists lo will rise against us. I know. Perhaps this is an opportunity. All of our army, all of the enemies are in one spot, and you know their vulnerabilities. Lead your army into their midst. Should any of them try to escape, Lord Elric and I will surround the perimeter with our army. That's an excellent plan, my lord. Together, we will finish what Richard began. You want me to destroy my friends? The rebels. You're not getting soft on me, are you? No, of course not. Welcome to the sovereign nation of Sherwood. Well, if it isn't our sworn enemy, the sheriff. <laughs> the pleasure is all oh. mine, my lady. Marion? Richard. I've avoided this moment for too long. Truth be told, I've kept myself away and busy because I'm as haunted by the past as anyone. I never haunted you once. Well, except for that time I made your britches fall down at the royal ball. <laughs> that was good. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness. There are no hard feelings. But if you could find it in your heart I'll to... think about it. Sorry, I'll talk to her. Ever since the revolution, we've been working to recruit unhappy citizens of Nottingham. It hasn't been that difficult. True. And we've been working to build this, our country, instead, without taxes and without rulers. Well, except for Bob. King Bob! <laughs> it made him happy. Can I have my crown back? No. <laughs> Anyways. Every member of Sherwood swears an oath of chivalry and promises to sustain, honor, and protect one another. A band of outlaws claims to be their own country. What's next? Your Majesty! Fancy seeing you here. Could I interest you in some fresh baklava? I made it myself. Baklava? After a proper dinner, of course. I hope you like garlic flatbread with asparagus. Roasted asparagus? It would be an honor to dine with you. You shall hear more from me once I've toured this country of yours. <laughs> <sighs> There's only one more bowl of stew, and it has your name on oh, it. Oh, Beatrice, you are a lifesaver. <sighs> Truth be told, I've grown a taste for venison. Is this the new country? Welcome, my friend. You look like you haven't eaten in days. I haven't. Here, take this. Why, thank you, kind sir. Have a seat, friend. Well, what do you think of our country? It's beautiful. If only it could last. It's only a matter of time before Scarlet finds out what you're doing here, and when she does, there will be no contest. Well, not yet, maybe, but every day our fortifications are getting stronger, and more people are joining, and, and plus, now we have the mighty Sheriff of Nottingham on our side. Or do we? He's not one of us yet. Beatrice. First, he has to crawl through the gauntlet while we beat him with paddles. Bring it on. That's really then, good. of course, he has to drink the ceremonial hog's milk while Doesn't he tells us bad. his entire romantic history. No, I'm not no, doing that. Beatrice, I think that helping us with an invading army is more than enough. It's plenty. I, I think that will do. And you really think that I'm ready to commit treason against the crown? Oh. Oh, uh, well, I'd, I'd hope... <laughs> well, we'll have to work on your fighting first. Oh, you're going to train me? Only Beatrice will help. Teaching Aspen to fight will require supernatural aid. <laughs> Luckily, we happen to live in an enchanted forest. You say enchanted? You've never heard of the fairy folk of the Sherwood? Tell me. By all means. Oh, there's a song I know, a legend of the folk who lived in this forest long ago, driven with fear by giants on the rear. They
if they never ceased to keep the ways of peace with her protection they would hear how the breeze keeps on whispering keeps telling us to look to the trees find our power and strength hear how the stream keeps on singing keeps telling us to look to the gleam of a glorious dream for hundreds of years they lived without fears when giants attacked the men drove them back until Then go get some rest. A long day. Thank you. I sure hope Isabella is all right. Oh, she'll be fine. I mean, she's a very tough girl, and she knows that we're going to rescue her, so. You're not worried? I'm. Um, all right, to be honest, I'm terrified for her and for us. At any moment, Scarlet's army could march through those trees and slaughter us. That's how it happened years ago, and we're not any better prepared now than we were then. I just Aspen. don't... No one could raise an army so quickly. You worked hard. The best you can do is rest. I've corrupted you, haven't I? I suppose you have. <laughs> and you're not ashamed to be an outlaw? Not one bit. What would your father say? What would your father say? Touché. You should ask, as a matter of fact. Good God! <laughs> we spotted the army! <laughs> the, they camped right outside the forest. Well, I was dead wrong about that. Yes, are there, are there any signs of movement? Um, no, but they'll surely attack tomorrow. In that case, we should really get some rest. Um, could you show our guest to his bed? I can move the hogs out of the way. In other words, you can have her bed. 
I want to finish this conversation. As do I. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty impressive. Why, thank you. <laughs> you see, my friends and I aren't entirely sold on the idea that violence is going to solve anything. What are you getting at? We surrender. <laughs> you surrender? Yes. Just like that? Well, with all of my power and authority, which amounts to absolutely nothing, I invite every member of Sherwood who so chooses to step forward and unite with the cause of England. You are under no obligation to stay and fight. <laughs> Give me that! Hmm. And what of those who do not choose to do so? Well, you see, that is the tricky thing. Unlike yours, our country doesn't work by compulsion. It's an idea, one that I can't seem to get out of their heads. Once again, you try my patience. <laughs> Perhaps you should surrender as well, then. <laughs> I march into your territory, surrounding you, outnumbering you, and you tell me to surrender. The only <laughs> thing standing between these people and happiness is you. If you surrender your power, there will be peace. No one just surrenders their power. Then let you and I fight. Why drag these others into it? And if I best you, 
You'll command your people to submit to me. I already told you, they're not mine to command. Then your offer is worthless, and this can only be settled with blood and lots of it. You heard your queen. She's willing to sacrifice each and every one of you to settle her dispute with me. And who wouldn't want to sacrifice themselves for such a noble cause? We're fighting for England! I mean the noble cause of forcing others to join your club. Who wouldn't be willing to die for five shilling loaves of bread? On a side note, they're two loaves for one shilling here in the Sherwood. Enough of this Sorry. impudence! Attack them! What, what again are we fighting for? You must speak out of turn and show unquestioning obedience to your superiors! What, no matter what? No matter what! I just thought there might be- I said be attack! attack. Knees bent, steady, steady. Okay, your captain's a bit elaborate. In the interest of time, why don't you lead them? And risk losing their queen, <laughs> idiot. Shoulders forward, knees straight, touch your toes. Do you guys always do this before you fight? This is the trouble thing. Okay. Get yeah, off my bed! Yeah. Turn around and retreat! Run the fire! No! We have to come down those beds! What the devil? <laughs> Isabel! I thought you were captured! <laughs> That's what I wanted them to think. <laughs> no! Oh. 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 I've got this. No! This is our fight! Give us a good Go show on. then. Go Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, low blow. Come on, you can do better than that. That's right. Back her out. Truth be told, I always was a lousy fighter. I don't care what she says. If you harm a hair on her head, you'll answer to me. If you attack my queen, I'll attack you. And in turn, we'll attack you. This is childish! The best part is if you don't like it, you can leave! I'm not going anywhere! Now that we've settled that, who wants some pie? <laughs> Your Majesty! I made apple and cherry! Huh? Is this what you're saying? Oh, no, get off, please. We're all equals here. You mean you won't reclaim your throne? Though I'd rather stay here and cook, I suppose someone has to protect England from foreign invaders and domestic ineptitude. Therefore, I swear by the order of Robin Hood to be a better king and a better man than I was before. I swear what every king should, to do everything in my power to make sure that every man, woman, and child has the right to pursue their own path. Beyond that, I can promise you nothing, for it is neither mine to give nor to take. He's not perfect, but neither are we. Will you help me, Aspen? Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you think, the crown is still mine! Oh, God! Richard, something. Why? Why? I'd rather die than see you back on the throne. You were the one that killed my father and my brothers! I don't doubt that I did. <sighs> do with me what you will. I've done what I've had to do. Spoken like a true Roman. She must pay for this! No, no. It is I who must pay. Therefore, as my last order as king, I decree no one shall harm a hair on this brave woman's head. And she shall be paid 100 shillings. Whether or not his head is screwed on straight, he does have the heart of a lion. You two, promise me, you will never stop fighting for England. I swear it. As do I. Yeah.
visions for the nation, for the future generation. There's a duty we are bound to with all blood. I'm still your queen! The time has come. Prince John! King John! No! I hate to rain upon your party, but we bring important news. Hear your majesty's decree, of which no one can refuse. With this battle-weary country, and to lift you when you're down, I have come to claim my brother's golden crown. How could anyone who bore the dark oppression of your reign think to welcome the return of more timidity and pain? Claim their weapons one and all, shed their blood if they defy. We will stand in opposition or we'll die! Does anyone else wish to speak treason? Will you not ally with us against this tyrant, Scarlet? Lady Scarlet, you have carried out my plan to perfection. Your servant even did my dirty work for me. I <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about! <laughs> <laughs> Did you think your loyal allies really stood with your crusade? Did you think you'd won the throne through your pitiful parade? Now I will do the thinking, and unless you swear a truce, in a day or two you'll dangle from a noose. Long live the king! <laughs> You should be proud that you helped put an end to the terrible reign of Richard, for which I must thank our dear Aspen Hood. Your little country proved to be quite the perfect rendezvous for a transfer of power. Perhaps I won't burn it to the ground just yet. In fact, there should be a monument here to me. We will never surrender! <laughs> if you look into the distance, you will notice that my men are surrounding the forest. At my command, they will put an end to the pitiful bandits of Sherwood once and for all. Of course, History has proven that's easier said than done, so I'll tell you what. Stay out of my sight! Let bygones be bygones. Annoy me, and well, I won't warn you again. Oh, and stay away from my dear! As for the presence of Nottingham, you will return to your rightful stations. All property taken from lords shall be, right, be promptly repaid tenfold upon pain of death. But what of the poor? Pay your taxes, and you will live to see another day. I will not be used to oppress these people any longer. <laughs> Which is why I'm stripping you of your title, Sheriff of Nottingham, and giving it to a man I can trust, Lord Elric. My lord, I am speechless. Thank goodness for that. Is there any food in this castle? I'm starving. I had a banquet prepared for your return. Oh, good. What are we having? Venison. <laughs> Phew, stockings, man. You know I can't stand the taste. Apologies, my lord. Can't we get some baklava or roasted asparagus in here? Well, I didn't see that coming. Everything that we fought for was in vain. Fail. Yep. You're just going to agree with me? Why not? It's true. You're supposed to say something profound or consoling. Mother. Not feeling it. Uh, it's pretty bad. Isabella. It's pretty much the worst thing that could have happened. Not true. John could have married Scarlet. By the way, I really enjoyed that suit for swimming you were wearing earlier. Are you still single? Uh, yes, I, I am. Mm. Dang it! <laughs> well, I've got something. Yes? Maybe, maybe the nation of Sherwood isn't so much out here as it is in here. <laughs> However peaceful or chaotic England is on the outside, right here in our own country, there can always be peace. And no matter who is ruling, you will always be my queen. We started out as adversaries With 
every reason to contend But the burdens that we carry Brought us to a common end We fought from both sides of the struggle Stand here through the darkness 